2018, our son Josh proposed to Nicole in Paris. We spent a day with them in Athens, and they asked us to come home for their wedding. So, we packed up White Arrow to winter in Tunisia at the end of November, while we flew home to summer in New Zealand. Things you never really expect. 
I'm not really sure how I'm feeling or what I'm feeling right now. It sort of goes between a mixture of emotions of really? <laughs> nah. And sometimes just terror. <laughs> he can do it in his surgery with a local anaesthetic. And then the sample gets sent away and they do some more tests on it to find out what um, or if it's spread any further and apparently if it does then we've got to have more he hasn't spoken about chemotherapy or anything like that yet but that could be something as well yeah I feel pretty stink right now I don't want to do this And then I have to go back every six months for checkups for however long I need to go. I'm not sure yet. So how are we going to fit that into our lifestyle as well? It's going to be something we'll have to try and work out. So how long does that stay on for? Two weeks. Okay. I've got another couple in case it looks like it's getting infected or... Um, or it gets dirty. Mm. He was very reassuring. There's just a couple of extra um, injections he had to do because he didn't quite take a, enough of a margin because it was um, such a big wound. Mm. It's paracetamol is all I've got to take. Yeah, well, we've got the other stuff. I was hoping for codeine or morphine. It's been two weeks since my surgery. I had the surgery on the 21st, I think it was, of March. And yeah, this week I felt really, really flat. Cooked a couple of meals and hung out towels on the line with one arm and had visitors and uh, not taking as many painkillers now and I can move a lot better. I can get my arm up the wall. Tomorrow I go to North Shore Hospital and get my um, check up for to check that they um, got all the cancer out and um, they seem pretty happy. I just have to keep resting up and doing my exercises and working towards that wedding which I'm really looking forward to and then getting on the plane and getting back to the boat. I just got up to make myself a cup of tea and saw a parcel at the front door. I thought oh it's another package of something that Gavin's ordered for the boat, we've been getting little packages every now and then to, of different things to take back to the boat. A cushion from Joan. I think it's the same lady that said to Gavin that she used to use a pillow to prop herself up. So she must have had the same operation. Man, people are so good. I'm not the first person to go through this and I won't be the last if I can just encourage and get one or two. I know there's been one or two of you that have gone and got mammograms since I had my, my operation. If I can just encourage some more of you to get this, get it caught early, get it sorted.
Maybe some medical. You're tougher marijuana. than that. My husband's tougher than that. Medical yeah. marijuana says you who doesn't do it.